I'm Katrina, and this is So in Terror. Today we're moving out the green stock full of peppers, which overwintered in the screen and porch, and you'll get to see what happens. <laughs> All right. Well, that was not good. Damn. All right, this should have been simple, but I pulled instead of pushed, and now the whole thing is off except for the bottom. <laughs> so, I'm releasing the peppers in out here. Time to um, put them out. I was going to cut them back. I haven't done that yet. I will do that after the rain. We still have peppers on here. <laughs> so, let me get it a little bit out the door. And you guys watch, get to watch while hopefully I put it back on. Everything's connected except for the bottom one. So, using my legs, hopefully. Well, I'm gonna harvest these first. Good peppers. It's almost April, guys. I have peppers. I was looking for the wheel lock on here and for some reason I couldn't find it, so I had to deal with another one. Let's see. Almost. Partial. Alright. Thing is, I'm holding the bottom one with my knee as I'm lifting. Getting my exercise in. <clears throat> oh, so close. I think I'm gonna have to take them all off. It's at such a weird angle. I'm trying to balance it while it's, I can totally lift the whole thing up, but spotting it is a different thing. Come on. All right. We're gonna have to take everything off, which is gonna be, I'm gonna turn it and lean it against the side. Hi, kitchen. Ta-da! <sighs> All right, so goes that, so much for that plan. Give me a chance to clean out the water.
just going to cut them now. I know it's gonna rain, but it's just gonna get done. So, <laughs> we're picking peppers. <laughs> Unplanned, it's okay. <clears throat> Some of these jalapenos got really, really high. Look how tall this is. This one's almost ripe. I like them when they're all the way red. And I'm just gonna pick the green ones too because we're gonna trim them. All right, planting peppers is something that I don't have to do this year because I already did it last year and the year before. Let's see, I'll put these here. And each of these nodes can grow a new part of the plant. So you can cut them back. I'm cutting it back to a point that it's growing. Make sure there's no peppers on it before I toss it. Oh, gotta eat that one soon. Might be too little, but it's a red one too. Let me show you what I'm working with. This one's definitely an old one. This is my cayenne. Look at this, guys. Cayennes. Ready. In late March. these little guys I'm just putting them in the top of the water thing <clears throat> now these ones could have been picked a while ago but it's okay man they have flutter flower buds on them too but I think I'm still gonna trim them back This is good. I know one's giant. I'm gonna start. That's okay. Now this was a parsley. It has reseeded already, but um, this part's alive. The other part has already seeded and is dead, so I'm just gonna cut it out. Again, this cutting back was something I probably should have done um, when I brought them in for winter, but they still had peppers on them, guys. Oh, and here's our little basil that's, that's self-seeded. Isn't that funny? Another pepper. good now over here we have some teeny tiny jalapenos this plant the jalapenos I bought the first time because I didn't actually seed get I didn't actually plant from seed the first time um, tiny tiny peppers they're okay I will eventually replant them but replace them but in the meantime we'll eat these tiny fruits all right I guess this is where we're going to build it because this is where the one with wheels is kitten hi you gonna help us hmm you gonna help build this thing what do you think oh you guys can't even see the kitten he does not like being picked up hi baby are you gonna do it because the camera's here or because you missed me huh he doesn't like being picked up usually. What's going on, sweetie? Huh? 
are you tolerating this or you don't have a clear landing spot? There you go. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to clear these completely. If the hole's blocked, hole, I'm going to uh, clear that. But there's only one that's like that in this top one. All right, we can put more um, compost and stuff around these plants later. Right now, I just need to build this back. So the thing about this is when you have larger plants, which most of them are cut back now, they are hard to put back on here because you have to get it exactly right. So um, if you are weight limited for your lifting, um, find a friend that can lift. And if you're lifting it yourself, use your legs to lift. So I'm finding that some of these are fitting and some of them are not, which means that probably it's moved. So I probably just have to rotate it, find out where it was. It's really important to get the bottom one on correctly because if you make a mistake down here, it's going to make it worse up here. So try to get it on correctly. Like right now, it looks like it's all cracked except for right here. So I'm going to push it in. Hopefully, it'll pop in. Oh, the other one just popped out. All right, that looks good now. This one's slipping on much easier. Yeah, just that bottom one is a little wonky. pretty easy. This is the watering disc to water everything. It has a central central part that goes down to each of these little, little uh, things and then they have holes in this that water everything. Alright. There we go. So that's right on. Awesome. So that was a long way out to get these guys out the door. Let's put them away. The best way I've found to move this is to put your foot on the lowest one and give it a kick and balance it with your arms. And I have a little bit of ledge to get up here. So I'm just going to 
tilt just a little bit and it goes right up. Now, you want to make sure that the water uh, exit has this little tube at the end. It's facing the right direction. So it's on the spinner so you can spin it all around. But I want to make sure the spinner is actually facing the right direction. So the water is going the right way. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I made a video instead of just having this in my weekend review. But <clears throat> that's the only challenge of how do these things green stock or they're great. There's a link in the description below. Um, if you want $10 off your first purchase, you can use my, um, my link there. And hi kitten. And they are wonderful. So these guys are great. This is 60 plants in a space you can hug. Um, yeah. So I am going to be adding a little bit of compost on the top of each of these plants, and you know, right, right in each of these pockets and that will give them more nutrition for the year. And then I will be also doing some li liquid fertilization up top, up on top here. And these, well, this one broke in the process. It's okay. <clears throat> so these uh, peppers will do really great. And they are definitely going to pepper way before any pepper I start today. So I'm not starting peppers today. <laughs> I'm going with what I did last year and it will be great. So again, uh, I love the spinner base. I, the first time I did it, the first time I got one, <clears throat> I got one without the spinner base. I was going to use one of those things that, oh, the cat's going after this. Yes, it spins. It spins. Um, the, you know, those, things on wheels that the, the uh, wine barrel things go over. I was going to put on that. It was very unstable. This is made for it. Get the base, get the wheels. Um, if you're going to be wheeling it in and out like I did for winter, I mean, these guys are all, they're all peppers. I, I mean, I've trimmed them all now, but they all survived. And um, some of them, this is going to be their second year of producing. For some of them, this will be their third year of producing. <clears throat> peppers will last basically forever until, um, until they freeze uh, or you don't take care of them. So my light just went out. Anyway, uh, this is a really, really great thing to do, especially if you're space limited. If you want to save things for uh, going through winter, you know, these can be outside when they need to be and then inside when they need to be. And um, the wheels can lock. I found that I don't have a need to lock the wheels, but you may. Um, they do great in the wind so far. I mean, I, I guess I don't have them in a really windy spot. I've seen other people be in really, really windy spots that they really survive the wind, but I guess that it's not a personal guarantee, right? But they do really well here. Um, the watering system is amazing because I've tried other towers that just don't work. I'll put a link up here. Um, so you guys can see my original strawberry tower and, uh, I had ideas they would work in a less hot area um, so if you are in a less hot area do my idea but bigger instead of little and then uh, there's a whole you know whole bunch of videos about about green stocks so yeah thank you for watching <laughs> I hope you enjoy the day and uh, may your green stock not fall over <laughs> Again, mine was because I was pushing um, up here instead of down there. Or I pulled, I think. I think pulled up here instead of pushing down there. So there is a there's an art to moving them. <laughs> but if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to know more about growing peppers in here, hey, come to one of the live live chats. We do every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I may not do Easter. I mean Easter day. April Fool's Day is my birthday, so I may not do it that day, but we'll see. Um, and probably by the time you see this, it will already have passed. Anyway, 
and we'll talk about growing things in different areas. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe and the no bell notifications, select all so you get all the content. We do tons of homesteading content here and most of the time my light doesn't burn out part way through, but today is the day of fixing things. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.